Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're going to be talking about um, cotton, coils, we're going to be talking about um, coil wire, um, some information about batteries, some information about uh, Sega Tank RDA coil heads for tanks, we're going to be talking about coil heads, um, RDA coil heads and RBA coil heads for um, tanks also we're going to be talking about a little bit about um, uh, specific wires I use a lot um, specific wire I don't use particularly a lot um, and then the next video I'll go into a little more detail of batteries chargers I did talk in this video a little bit about batteries and chargers some suggestions so um, thank you for watching and See you over there. Alright everybody, so we're going to be talking about cotton. I'm going to bring a little bit up about coils, um, coil wire, stuff like that. So, I've mentioned in the tools video, last video, co uh, cotton bacon version 2.0 is one of my favorite cottons. I have three packs plus another pack in the bag. Coil Master Organic Cotton Bacon, uh, cotton, not bacon, but cotton is actually really good uh, vaping cotton. Um, I like this stuff as well. Um, but one thing I liked a lot was you can get these organic Japanese cotton four packs. You can get like a thousand of these four packs for like twenty dollars on Amazon and this stuff actually is works very well I got one two three four five six of them right here um, smock you can get smock bait and, uh, cotton from uh, smock also um, and then this is just an assortment pack of different sizes pieces I've cut thinner smaller um, These are UD coil packs, right here. Oh, I have different versions. I usually leave them in their pack. This is um, thickness, 0 0.5 millimeter thickness on this one. Um, Zero point one. this is Canthal wire. This is um, 0 0.25 millimeter Canthal 30 AWG wire. It's kind of hard to see. Um, this is 34 gauge 10 millimeter pure nickel wire. This one is 34 gauge 10 mil pure nickel wire also. Oops, sorry about that. Tripod's messing up on me. There. This is 28 AWG um, Canthal A1 wire. I have 0.25 millimeter Canthal wire, uh, 28 AWG. This is twisted Canthal 2 wire, so the wires are twisted together. Um, or you can do it yourself. Um, this is 34 GA, just Canthal wire, 24 GA, twisted Canthal wire. Um, this is 3 millimeter Canthal 28 AWG. This is 3 millimeter 2 plus 0 05 Canthal 28 AWG. I don't know what this one is. It's probably a normal size that I always use. These are just little packs. I think they're like four, two or three dollars, something like that, maybe four, for a little, you know, you'll do like four or five coils. These are those uh, RDA coil head V2 for Atlantis. So this is specifically for an Atlantis tank. Both of these are. And these are basically RDA coil heads. So it actually turns your tank into an RDA. I was talking about that earlier. I just found these in a different pocket. 
these are mini RDA pluses for I have a cup several of these. These are for Kanger tanks. Kanger Tech Mini RBAs pluses. Um if I unthread this, it has a coil in it already. All I gotta do is put cotton in it and you're good to go. Um, I have several of these. I believe I have like four or five of these little ones because I like my Kang Kanger Tech tank a lot. So there's four right here and I think there's two in that box I showed you guys earlier. So this is everything that came out of this pocket. Um, and I can do a separate video on coil wire and coils and stuff like that. Um, these aren't the only coils, uh, wires I have for coil. I do not have any titanium wire. I was going to, you know, before I quit vaping, I was going to actually buy some titanium wire to mess with the temperature control mods. And I just kind of got busy and didn't end up buying it. And I ended up spending my money on other things. Um, but this pocket has a lot of my cotton and my coils, my extra coils. Um, you can use nick wire if you're wanting to do um, if you're wanting to do like uh, temperature control stuff and I actually I do have some titanium wire so I take all that back I am wrong here's some titanium wire and I wrapped it in some cotton so it wouldn't get all messed up. This is actually Sweet Spot Vapor Titanium Wire 0.4 millimeter. I've never even used it, so I'm gonna have to maybe I'll go in a little deeper detail and you know we'll do some titanium wire stuff builds or something. Put my cotton back in here. This is a little baggie of some coils I've made I haven't used yet. Okay. I'm gonna actually move these um, RDA style coils over to my assortment box. Cause those are for building RDA style um, tanks. This side zipper I do have a big bag of cotton gauze q-tips and then this is where I have the major wire I've used the most Canthal A1 100 foot 25 uh, gram kidney puncher wire Canthal A1 250 22 gauge and this is 25 gauge and then I have Canthal A1 100 feet 23 gauge I have Canthal A1 30 foot 24 gauge and I have Canthal A1 100 foot 26 gauge the gauges I use the most are 26 gauge 22 gauge and 25 gauge um, 22 23 gauge and 24 gauge I don't use a lot because a lot of my builds are specifically for um, uh, cloud vaping. I can explain to you how the wire works if you want to know how to do flavor vaping and what size wire is recommended for that. And these are just for cleanup, you know, if you're cleaning your ma or whatever. You know, that's all I use the Q-tips for. So, um, I need to know from you guys, if you guys want to see separate videos, this is just a breakdown of what was in my bag. What I do recommend for batteries, 18650 batteries, I do recommend getting a bunch of these 18650 cases. It holds a pair of two batteries. It doesn't really matter what style case they are. I have square ones. I have these kind of syllable ones with the gasket, with the four clamps. Um, 
Um, I always do recommend if you're gonna if you have a a mod that you can actually just pop the batteries in and out. I would recommend getting you know four or five two sets of batteries. The other thing is is always keep the batteries in their pairs. So if you use these two batteries in one specific mod, um, you don't have to put these specific batteries always back in that mod. But I would suggest when you charge these, charge them together, then put them back in their case together because it will work best if the batteries um, are always used in pairs um, when it comes to high drainage um, like vape because vape is a high ampage, high drainage um, type of uh, entertainment or accessory if you would think of that. I would always recommend getting uh, good batteries, LG, Samsung's. The E-Fest are okay, they're pretty cheap, but they don't always last very long. Um, my other suggestion would be to get one or two really good smart chargers like this one. Um, it actually states it's charging at 10 milliamps, you know, with the trickle charging at the top. When these chargers start on an empty battery, they're charging at like five, 600 milliamps. Um, and then I also suggest even, even this Luke V4 from E-Fest, this charger is amazing. I may not recommend the E-Fest batteries because they, I've noticed the E-Fest batteries aren't true to the milliamps that they say, um, milliamp hours, I should say. But this charger is my favorite charger, and it's not cheap. I think this one I cost me like 70 bucks at the time, but it's a good investment to make sure that your batteries are good. Um, and I can't get this LG to charge, so I think it just it might be dead. It might be a goner. But those are some suggestions for batteries, in my opinion. I would definitely suggest you getting. A good char a good smart charger, a couple pairs, you know, two, four, six batteries. Put them in these cases, stick the batteries, you know, one of these cases in your pocket, leave one pair of batteries in your your mod. If you're at work and you want to take a break and you you know your mod runs out of power, you just pop in two more batteries, you go about the rest of your day. That would be my suggestion. If you like tanks, I would suggest building your own RDAs. Um, this is a mini RBA buildable kit for an actual tank. I have four of them. These are um, C Sega tanks, any vape, R RDA coil head V2s for Atlantis. This is for an Atlantis um, tank. These are buildable. This one's called an RDA, but the minis are card, called RBAs, and that's because they're so small. You have to be very, very precise on how big the coil is in these and how much cotton. Um, but this is supposed to mimic a full-size RDA. Um, if you watched my previous uh, video a couple of videos ago where I was talking about tanks and, and RDAs, this basically takes the internals of an RDA drip tank, um, dripper, and it turns it into a tank system where you can just put so many um, quarter of an ounce or more of vape liquid in the tank and you just go about your day. Tanks are convenient when you're driving and you're, you're going you know, lots of places and you're constantly busy. RDAs are good for relaxing, hanging out at vape shops, having a good time, learning things. So I do suggest these if you want to learn how to control every aspect of your vaping experience, if you want to use a tank. If you want to use an RDA on your mod, my suggestion is learn everything you can about it. Please don't hesitate and you know, ask me any question you'd like to ask me about RDAs, tanks, you know, these little mini kits that you can get for tanks, um, batteries, you know, suggestion on milliamp hours, you know, anything you want to ask, go ahead and ask me. Don't hesitate. 
Um, I also have my chargers on this little pocket here. I have a car charger for my um, E-Fest. Came with a car charger. Um, so this is my go-to carry bag. This is a large bag. This one I think is like $60 at Walmart. It's not a cheap bag. I don't use it for gun stuff. I have other bags for my gun stuff. So I, I use it for vape. It's worked out well for me. The other great thing about this bag is when my wife vaped, we would just take this bag collectively. You know, one bag, we put all our stuff in it. My wife's stuff's in this bag, my stuff is. Um, and we just go to the vape shop or wherever we're going and we hang out. Um, Kidney Puncher actually has a vape shop where you can actually hang out and um, this is my battery pocket. You can hang out and you can play pool for free. You can sit there all day and play pool, um, you know, vape, have a good time. That's a great thing about some vape shops. You can watch TV, watch movies, chit chat, hang out, play pool, you know. So thank you for watching. Um, we'll see you on the next installment. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and um, I'll see you guys on the next video, and please go check out my Amazon affiliate links. Peace.